Hi there everyone, I'm News A Meteorologist Ashley Baylor with a check of your latest forecast. Hopefully you're having a good Wednesday so far. We're making our way through the week here and we have been enjoying bright conditions, but we've also had that milky tint to the sky, still courtesy of those wildfires going on in Western Canada. So sun in a smoky sky through the early part of this afternoon, but anytime after three or four o'clock, you're probably going to notice a few more clouds and between about four to nine o'clock, we are going to have a line of showers and thunderstorms move through the state, all courtesy of a cold front. So here's a look at our hour by hour forecast. You can see some of those clouds starting to pop up in the northwest corner. Of course, those clouds and those showers will continue to dive south along that frontal boundary. So things may get a little more dicey as we go through dinner time through your evening commute. But the good news is that wet weather that is going to be long gone by the time you head out the door Thursday morning. So we can look forward to bright and warm conditions tomorrow. Temperatures are going to be in the mid 60s to about 70 degrees. So tonight, Thunder showers early, then clearing temperatures dropping back into the 40s and then tomorrow mostly sunny and overall a comfortable day. We'll have winds out of the north, so that'll keep temperatures in the mid 60s inland, but we'll be closer to 70 degrees at the shoreline. Here's a look at your eight day shoreline forecast where as you can see, things are looking very pleasant as we head into the holiday weekend. Friday looks good. Saturday will be nice as well. Lots of sunshine there and notice a warming trend really starts, especially for inland areas we will be in the low 70s on Sunday at the shoreline, but inland will be close to 80 degrees. And look at this. We jump into the upper 80s for inland areas on Monday, but at least we do keep the weekend dry. Of course, Monday Memorial Day, there will be a lot of remembrances and ceremonies and parades going on that day. So I'm glad we're going to keep that day nice and bright. And look at this. We could be talking about low 90s by next Tuesday and Wednesday.